Welcome back. You read the title. Today we're going to talk about lifetime value and filters. They go hand in hand. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. First things first, filters are not good or bad. They just are. And it's important to know what you're filtering for and what you're filtering against. I'll go more into this later. We're going to get to the LTV, but this is something you need to understand first. That being said, what is a filter? So my definition in the context of business is that a filter is a process or a roadblock that prevents a specific outcome. Depending on the filter, it can filter for desired outcomes or against undesired outcomes. It all depends on the filter. Remember that. Let's jump into an example. Let's say you're at work and someone's an asshole to you. How likely are you to be a friend to them? Not likely. Let's say you're at work and someone offers you a piece of gum. How likely are you to be a friend to them? More likely. How they treated you is the filter for how your behavior towards them will be in the future. Will you be nice to them in the future or will you avoid them in the future? Filter. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about LTV. Lifetime value. What does that mean? The dictionary definition of LTV is an estimate of the average revenue that a customer will generate throughout their time with your company. That's really fancy for saying how much money roughly are you going to get from a customer for the time that they're with you? Now that we know what it means, why does this matter? LTV typically stems from how happy a customer is with you or your service. Let's put it this way. Do you or a loved one that you're probably borrowing from have Netflix? Okay. How long have you had Netflix? Probably a couple years, right? Yeah. By that standard alone, you or your loved one is very happy with the service that Netflix is giving you. Yeah. I.e. the LTV that Netflix has gotten from you is probably massive because you've been with them for so long. Years. You're happy with the service. You stayed with the service. Netflix makes a lot of money. Capish. Now, why does that matter? LTV how long you're going to be with the company means more money for the business because the customer is staying and buying more stuff from the business for an extended period of time. Cool. So by knowing who the service is for, and more importantly, knowing who it is not for, the more you know who your customer is and what your customer wants, the better you can cater your service or product to them. Which means if you made a service that was specifically for one type of person that had one type of problem, they would probably be very happy with your solution because it solves the specific problem for them. The more you cater to them, the happier they will be, the greater your LTV. Okay, this is where the fun part happens. If you know specifically who it is for and know specifically who it is not for, and you know how to set up that filter properly, that means that the only people that will get through are the ones that your service is for. That means that you will waste less time because you already have the service that is for that specific type of person. They will be more happy with the service because it's specifically for them and does exactly what they need it or want it to do. And because they're happier, they will stay longer. So your LTV goes up, so they pay you more money. And now your business is happy too. This is where the riches are in the niches comes from. If you have a specific problem that happens for a specific person and you solve that problem, they are more willing to pay. They are more willing to pay large amounts of money for that specific problem because it's directly catered to them. You waste less time because you know that the people that get through you 100% can solve the problem for them. You're not wasting your time on the people that are just meh or kind of sort of have the problem. And the people that are meh and kind of sort of are not going to be as thrilled about your service as the ones that have that specific problem and are the people that you're looking for. So with a proper filter, I really want to drill this down because 10 customers that are the exact person that you're trying to help with the exact problem that you know how to solve will be 10 times happier and will increase their LTV, they will stay with you so much longer than the people that are meh and maybe have the problem and now you're wasting energy trying to maybe solve the problem for these people and they're not gonna be super thrilled about it, which means now your reviews go down. Uh-uh, one specific person, one specific problem, you solve that problem and profit. That's it. The end. Be cognizant of what you are filtering for. There's a million and a half ways to filter for or against some things. And the quicker you can find the specific thing that will filter in the people that you want it, out the people that you don't want, the better. In fact, I would even say your service or product, your service or product is not going to be for everyone. And that's fine. And it shouldn't be for everyone. Because if you try to make it for everyone, then you will please no one. The riches are in the niches. That's the exact reason why I always preface my school community with, if you're a growth-minded, success-oriented 
individual. I'm specifically calling out the people that my school community is for. Speaking of which, if you are that type of person, click the link in the description. The school community is for people like you so that you can bounce off ideas, have a community where you can actually talk about your hardships and all these different kinds of things as you grow and become more successful and get the things you want in life. So today is day 27. The challenge is almost over, but we're not there yet. I have a couple more videos. Thank you for spending this time with me today. Matthew Holland, signing off.